Hey there, this was my first coastal flight and I flew at Flinders. Flinders is somewhere near Western Port. And that's the landing zone there, the beach. And here I am at takeoff and James helped me get off. Turn right after launch to enter the ball and the ball is where you get your first bit of lift. And the first pine tree is where you make your first turn. Just about there. And then James wanted me to come straight over launch. And yes, I had enough altitude to do that, but I wanted to stay away from the ridge a little bit at that point. And um, do you see that tree across the road? That's where he recommended I head. Before turning back. And that's basically the run that I practiced my skills at. There he is, low in the trees, on the right. James seems to like the trees because he likes staying close to them. There he is, admiring those trees again. No, James had no trouble getting up. He was just constantly diving up and down and exploring the ridge. There he is, pretty high. He's probably, what, two, three hundred, maybe two hundred feet up there. And his high performance glider, I think, made it super easy to just go in and out of the ridge. But I like the safety of the lift at the ridge, so I just stayed at the ridge. of views here. And the views were even more interesting on that side. And James went up and down that coast quite a bit, as far as the eye could see in that shot. And there was quite a few paragliders everywhere. And I guess I had to learn how to dodge them and remember all the right of way rules and all that. But I always seemed to be sneaking up behind them for some reason. And so yeah, there were a few moments when I tried to speak to them to let them know that I was behind them. But yeah, there weren't any issues. I stayed out of their way, they stayed out of my way even though I got a bit close once in a while. That's me getting a bit low, but um, no, I don't think I had any problems. Might have been a slight dip in the wind, but it came back up and I was up in the air again. Yeah, it's not very hard to stay up on this ridge. It's a nice long ridge and the ball gives you a lot of lift. And I think um, James was taking advantage of that because he didn't mind coming down low because he was confident that he could get back up. Some more paragliders. That's a little too close, I think. These big dark pine trees in front of me, they give you a lot of lift. If you can get up above them, you can almost just stay there stationary and just keep going up and up and up. And this time I've got traffic that's both hang gliders and paragliders. That's James on the left. Yeah, see what I mean? This is the position where I think I got a bit too close to them once in a while. 
they're kind of just floating there and moving and drifting backwards even sometimes so yeah there's James again yeah drifting backwards and I was just getting closer and closer alright it's time to land now and the landing strip is the white beach the white sandy strip and there's a couple of hazards there the water's the obvious one and the trees on the left and there's a couple of rocky outcrops as well that you're meant to stay away from especially that big um, sandstone one that's going to come up near my helmet now there but it looks like a pretty safe landing um, I don't think I went down through the wind layers the wind gradient fast enough I think I should have gone much faster um, but it was a fairly easy landing, um, no crosswinds, which is a bit odd, like the wind was almost zero down there. Yep, that's sandstone on the left, stay away from that. And there he is, running up the beach to beat me. Excellent! Great flight! Oh, well done! Good. Shouldn't have landed! Should have waited till it came down. Oh. That's what I said, I'll pack up, I'll go get the car, come down, so it gives you another 40 minutes sort of thing. Oh. 